David Moyes has been sacked as Real Sociedad manager. Andy, this was coming, I think it's fair to say. Yes, it was. Um, form has been poor. They've been underachieving for a very long time. And I think that's the concern that there was a lot of goodwill for him to do well, but they've just not made any progress in, mm. in the time that he's been there. He had a good chunk last season. And um, the start of this season, when he was, he was, he was back to a degree in the, in the transfer market as well, um, with, with goal scorers uh, like uh, Jonatas, with attacking talent like Bruma, who I think will turn into a player, and with Asieri Aramendi, who they really pushed the boat out to, to get back from Real Madrid, a player who he admitted he didn't really know that well. Yeah, which is quite remarkable. I mean, he, he guided them to safety last season. They were not doing very well at all. Mm. Um, I mean, it wasn't particularly fantastic stuff last season but but he did guide them to safety and this season they've kind of stayed if not gotten worse and and this is a side who the fans and, and maybe some members of the board think should be perhaps challenging for more of a European spot well yeah and, and top 10 at least yeah uh, I mean well, Europa with, League maybe yeah with the sort of squad they've got I, I don't think that's completely unrealistic of course it's a traditional football city they won the Liga twice in the 80s and um, they're, they're very well backed and like I said I do think there was will for him to do well um, but the the basics I don't think he, he got right you, you know you talked about the the um, the team that he um, inherited last season um, from Arosate was not fit enough. And that's something that's very difficult to deal with in mid-season. So, of course, there was, especially as there's quite a short winter break in Spain, there was um, a sense that you know he got a bit of a free pass last season. But the fact that he got backed with those players, and the football was still terrible. There's no getting away from that. Um, people talked about him, especially over here, about him not uh, speaking the language. But I think that was a... A symptom rather than a cause uh, of his struggles because it was symptomatic of the fact that he hadn't adapted culturally and I think you can get past the language thing what you can't get past is that he turns around about a club legend like he had and goes oh he's not a player that I know that well well come on you know the club have pushed the boat out mm. to, to to get this guy back you should be building your team around and and you don't really know him yeah. I mean that's that's absolutely extraordinary sure. and uh, that was that was symptomatic of not really getting inside the Spanish game okay so Moyes has been sacked now twice in his last two jobs obviously Manchester United previously he did rumours say he quite fancies moving back to the Premier League at some point well obviously that point has mm. suddenly uh, become apparent where does he go realistically? Because his stock is not that high, having been it's sacked not. from the last two jobs. I mean, of course, when he was linked with the Villa job, I was. Well, thinking, that would have been perhaps the one. Yeah, well, I, I was thinking his stock's higher than it, it should be. Yeah. People talking about him as if he's some kind of saviour, and mm. they were saying, oh, well, he saved Everton. That was ten years ago. Now that yeah. was that was a really. But he did long do a good job, a solid job with that. He, he did, but that that was that was two jobs ago. And you know, if you're talking about getting away a team from the the bottom of the table, it's a very specific pressure and yeah. something that he doesn't have. He's a Premier League manager, though. You wouldn't imagine him going to the Championship, would you? Do you know what? I don't think that can be ruled out. Um, well, because, like Fulham, uh, currently, as we record this, that they don't have a manager. Somebody like that. Well, you, you know with what? With Premier League I, potential, I, I think. I think. The timing is not great for that, in, in, in my opinion. I don't think he should be looking to go back into the game straight away. Okay. I think he needs to have time out and have a bit of a, a think about things because he has been burned by this experience. Mm. And I always felt that, you know, it was, it was, it was brave of Real Sociedad to take him on, mm. but it was it was brave of him to have a go. Uh, that he didn't like fully embrace it, arguably, I, I think is a criticism you could make of him. But either way, I, I felt that he really had to make a... A success of this job to to come back to to England with um, uh, you know renewed reputation and un unfortunately he hasn't been able to do that. What you can be sure of is there will be more jobs lost in the Premier League this season and someone will be desperate enough to take a chance on him.